an update tonight on the search for 24-year-old missing Jigo woman Betty Diamond Katsuda. Her Facebook page updated this past Saturday at 10.22 p.m. The post stating, I've been found, thank God wasn't actually missing, it was a retreat. But users in the comments aren't too convinced the update came from Betty. Her family and even Guam police continue the search. KOAM messaged Betty online, but no response. The questionable post comes one month after loved ones reported her missing. The last time her social media friends saw any activity was mid-December, several disturbing messages on her page. This was dated December 19th last year, states in part, They beat me till knocked out unconscious and do whatever till I awake. Her post adding, It's men thinking they can do whatever they want to girls and beating them because they should be ashamed. Why? Katsuda was last seen December 21st along Chalan Cabezas in Jigo wearing a peach t-shirt, blue jeans, and black Adidas running shoes. KWM spoke with residents who lived in the Jigo neighborhood today. Have you ever seen this woman before? Doesn't look familiar. Well, you've never seen her because she's known to frequent around this, uh, the Chalam Cabeza area. No. Um, don't recognize her. But you've mm -hmm. never seen her. I've never seen her walking around here. Right. Yeah. I've seen a lot of people about her, though. Not much luck getting new info from residents here. One of Betty's family members told KUAM that her mother received a call from Betty herself, seemingly being coerced to call off the police search. The phone call was received on January 11th from a private number. But Betty's mother, Bertha, and other family members tell us Betty never disclosed where she was or who she was with. Her mom hasn't heard from her since, remains fearful for her safety. I would like her to be safe. I would like her to come home if she's not uh, uh, secure at coming home. If she's not secure coming home, at least she has other relatives that she can call and go and stay with them as long as she's safe. I would like the person who ever holds her. Thank you very much for holding on to her. I hope you understand how a parent really needs her child. And I hope you release her and care for her. Police today say they are still investigating and the search for Betty is ongoing. Julian Hernandez, KUAM News.